Good morning, guys. This is Rusty78609 at Daddle Wells Bureau of Land Management Campground. I've just got my stuff loaded, ready to go. It's 7.25 a.m. Uh, New Mexico time. I'm kind of getting lost on the time. I haven't had any cell phone access, so I don't know when I'll get these videos uploaded. But with that, be that as may, I'm just going to let the people that are interested see what this park looks like on the way out. I was at campsite 14, and it's a pretty good one. It's pull-throughs. I mean, if you have an RV, it's a pull-through. A lot of pull-throughs in here. I say a lot, probably five. And it's got a gravel road, no water. It's got the little outdoor toilets. Uh, some sites have a table. Most, most of them have a table. There's not a camp post until spring, whenever that is. And... Uh, and 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 very quiet last night of course that's uh, it was a monday night or tuesday night i can't remember what night it was and uh and 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 but it's a nice little campground it's elevation about 7500 feet temperature right now is 32 top down degrees or top up degrees it's cold here in these hills fortunately there is no wind low humidity and I had plenty of cover, slept good, and this guy here has got a generator from hell. I'm telling you. You could hear it all through the park till late at night. And his kids are the noisiest little bastards I've ever heard. But fortunately I was far enough away I could hardly hear his generator, but I walked by his RV and it is loud. It is certainly not a Honda. But anyway, I'm going to pull up here and I'll let y'all read the sign while I'm putting some trash out, if you can see that. And the, this is the, I, I'm going out the exit, well the exit entrance, same thing. But they've got a little building here on the left where they, they have a visitor center. It's called the Daddle Well Campground U.S., oh excuse me, U.S., yeah, well yeah, U.S. Department of the Interior Bureau of Land Management. Anyway, let me dump some, after these messages I'll be right back. I gotta dump some crap. Mexico I'm telling you but it is a beautiful day it's perfectly clear and fortunately there is no wind if there was any wind it would be woo, woo. but the journey continues folks journey can oh, I met two girls last night full timers they got an old pickup with high mileage on it uh, and one of them had lived in Kingsland Texas <laughs> Yeah, we, we talked about Kingsland. It was kind of like old home week. And then the other girl uh, knew who I was. She, she, she said, you got a YouTube channel, don't you? I said, yeah, I do. And she said, sneak or live in a Prius? I said, yeah. Uh, it's crazy, man. But here we go. This is a gravel road coming in, but it's, uh, it's, and it's kind of rough, even though it's like most gravel roads when they, when they blade it, you know, they try to smooth it out, they make it worse. But it's only a quarter mile to the pavement. I mean, you know, it's a crazy thing. It says it's a quarter mile, and it probably is. But whenever you've got to drive about 10 miles an hour, uh, a quarter mile seems like a long way. <laughs> but so far, the trip's been good. I slept good last night. I've been eating good. I got up this morning. I did my stretches. I haven't done a walk yet. I will here in a little bit. I'll find a place along. In fact, there's a place on the way. Uh, to my next stop, which I'm not quite sure what it is, it's going to be yet. But on the way in that direction, there is the 
location where they detonated, I believe, the first atomic bomb. It's called the Trinity Site, I think. And uh, you go by there, it's, it's only open rarely, uh, but there is a, a plaque there, and I'll stop and we'll, I'll read the plaque so I can remember what it is. This is beautiful country here, and this is a beautiful campground. Uh, unfortunately, like all the rest, those girls told me, they said, look, you know, they'd been here for, well, they're going on two weeks. You can stay there for two weeks. It's two dollars, well, for me, senior citizen, I get 50% off. It's two dollars and fifty cents a night. Uh, for them, what's well, a whopping five dollars. <coughs> but they were going to stay there a little longer. But they did tell me that, you know, they'd been there for like, I don't know, ten days or so. And they said that most of the nights they'd been there, it, the park had been pretty crowded. Of course, that probably had something to do with spring break. But I know in the summer, uh, you can go there. If you get there after, if you get to any campground in the summer after 4 o'clock, your chances of finding a spot are pretty slim. I mean, that's why I try to arrive early. I really do. But anyway, here we go, guys. Anyway, anyway, anyway. <coughs> oh, man. Early to bed, early to rise. I don't know what time my body clock's on now, but it is beautiful out here in these... I just love this. I mean, it's just so peaceful and quiet. The trip today be about three hours driving time. And I try to set them up that way so that, because I enjoy the trip, you know what I mean? I enjoy uh, the driving part of the trip. I really do. I don't like eight, eight hour drives. Six hour drives are tolerable. Eight-hour drives are just intolerable. This is the little town of Daddle Wells, or Daddle right here. Daddle Wells is the campground, and this is Daddle, D-A-T-I-L. Gasoline is 264.9. Out here, when you need it, you need it. But we're going to go towards Socorro. Socorro's 60-something miles, isn't it? Yeah, 61 miles. Got land for sale here. But if you ever come out here in this, come through this little area, be sure and adhere to the speed limits because they got a sheriff out here that makes a living off of you. <clears throat> and he'll give you a ticket for 63 and a 60. He will. He didn't give me one, but he gave one of the campers one. So, here we go. What have I learned so far? I've learned that, uh, you know, after eight or ten days, I'm, uh, you can stick a fork in me, I'm done. We're motivating now about 60, well it says 55, so I'll hold it down a little bit. <clears throat> On the road again, guys. Well, anyway, I'm going to post these videos as soon as I can. I sure have missed a lot of news, I know. I really regret that. Ha, ha, ha. Can you imagine? I haven't, I haven't listened to, read, or seen the news in 10 days or whatever it's been, 9 days, 10 days, whatever. And the world hasn't changed tells you how important it is really but we're going right into the sun I'm gonna end this thing anyway thumbs up guys from somewhere near Daddle Wells in New Mexico adios bye bye carpe diem adios bye bye <clears throat> buy USA made when you can drink plenty of water three quarts a day out here you need to drink a gallon Take deep breaths, breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth, that relieves stress a little bit. Stretch, 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 walk, walk, walk. Enjoy your life, one day at a time. And this journey will continue. Adios, guys, bye-bye.